Hey guys, what is up? It's Abby again with a new Sakura Card Cutter Clear Cards Anime Review and boy this Sunday was an intense episode Sakura and the Fire and Water Birds We start the episode with Akiho exploring the 3D book that Hika gives Sakura on the episode The Adventures of Alice in Wonderland I had one of those books when I was a kid, but honestly, it wasn't as cute, but you know, you get what you can, right? So, everyone is chatting over lunch break about how Rika-chan is doing and how she is very talented. She can play the piano, play the flute, and she's learning now how to learn to play the harp. Yeah, she likes books, but apparently she likes music even more. They also speak about the instruments they want to learn how to play. And somehow the subject of the roll cake disaster in the last episode came up. And Naoko is a creator. So she will use the disappearance of the cake rolls for a theater play. Yeah. Sakura is like. Yeah, it was her fault. I mean, not her fault entirely, but you know what I mean. Sakura was embarrassed when they asked what Sakura did with hers. Well, she made. Sheldon's costume on the roll cake Sadly, it was just a hat because not enough ingredients because of the card But still, it was something You know, I really want to see more moments like this with Sakura and Sheldon That was actually the part where they first hug When Yukito rejected Sakura and well, he was there and comfort comfort her that was adorable. Sakura so told Akiho that she can have the book because it was a present from Hika-chan. She can have it. Sakura so suddenly dozes out to the clock place thingy when she was handing over her hand to Akiho. Fortunately, Akiho catches her on the stairs as she was falling. Yeah, everyone got worried about Sakura. After school, we see Akiho in the library on her house, because she has a huge library apparently, putting her new book along with the other Alice in Wonderland books, because she loves Alice in Wonderland. Actually, Alice was the name my mom wanted to give me, but my grandma says that her mother was also named Alice, suffered a lot with my grand, no, great great grandfather because she was beat up, etc. And honestly, I would like to be called Alice. I really don't mind that name. I think it's pretty cute. I like Alice in Wonderland as well, so. Kaito randomly shows up. And when he mentions Alice in the Clockland. Wait, wasn't that called Alice Behind the Glass? Huh, you're confusing me now because I was, was thinking that was a Tim Burton thingy, you know? The last movie from Alice, the second part of the um, Alice in Wonderland when, with Johnny Depp. I haven't seen it. Totally because it was dubbed and honestly I really like to hear Johnny Depp's voice and not some random guy dubbed in portrait. So no, I didn't saw it even though I had two chances to watch it. I don't want to see the dub version. I'm sorry. His wife is there too. She is the queen of hearts. Oh yeah, I, I'm a fan, but I don't know her name. I know the Queen of Hearts is Tim Burton's wife. 
So, make it up your mind. It's either in Alice in Clockland or Alice Behind the Glass. Regardless, it's time related thingy when Alice goes back in time to go back to save Mad, Mad Hatter's dad family. Does that mean anything in this series of Sakura because does that mean she will save Akiho Nadeshko? Maybe if she's a reincarnation of Sakura's mom. Maybe, maybe. Wouldn't that affect the timeline though? Hmm. Regardless. Anyway, she does this out when speaking about Sakura having her closer to her, to Akiho. So, must be something related, right? There must be something related between Sakura and Akiho and Nadeshko. We have to see, I guess. On the second part of the episode, we see Sakura, Tomoyo, Kero, and Shaura at the Tomoeda Shrine. This was actually the first card that Sakura captured. It was fly. It was a bird. So it was the place where the birth of the Sakura card captor began. And Kero was a douche back then, and now he's a you know he's a going kind of guy. Ah, he was so annoying. Kero was so annoying. He was so picky back then. He's a cool character now. That is called character development. I have to say the same for Spinel. Even though we don't have much screen time with him. They chat for a little bit and suddenly a blast of fire emerged from the ground. Oh my god, that's freaking Moltres! It is! Firebird? That is Moltres! It is! Heh! Anyway, it was sweet that Shaoran was trying to protect the girls. Especially his beloved Sakura. Kero is in charge to protect Tomoyo, even though he's a fire type. Yeah, Pokemon! Again! Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, but it can't be helped. Shara is in charge of the card. He uses wind magic to restrain Blaze. While Sakura uses flight to capture it. They capture it easy, but Shara is really, really holding up on something very important that he has to say. Shara, just say it i mean <laughs> if this goes the way i think it is going you need to tell sakura even though you don't want her to be worried we finished the episode with toya and yukito yes toya knows sakura is out so he knocks at her door and enters the room yes as he expected she is not there one thing i can say is sakura is busted She's not home. A brief talk between Yue and Toya. Yeah, he now knows his name because Toya asked Yukito what's his name. Because ever since Toya gave Yue his power, uh, he never knew his name. So don't be mad at Yukito even though you can't talk in person. Don't be mad at him, I just thought I should know since I give you my power after all. You know, it's the least I can know is your name. But he's regaining his power. If Shora is losing his power and Toy is gaining his power... Hmm, I mean, both love Sakura, Shora in a way and Toya in other, like brotherhood, siblinghood. <clears throat> is this related? 
Toya is gaining and Shora might be losing. Mm. Is Toya gonna fight with Sakura? That will be awesome! This is it for my Sakura cap Captors anime review. Did you saw it? Do you have any ideas? Do you think Toya is gaining Sharon's power? You know? Maybe yes, maybe not. What are your thoughts about it? What are your thoughts about the episode in general? Please let me know on the comments down below. And before I leave, I have an announcement. I might be doing some episodes of something that someone suggested me before. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. And I will do it. It's basically a series of coloring books. So we will have to take care of that. And like always, that will be posted on Wednesday. Whenever I have the time, because now I have to work on Patreon rewards. Like always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you like, comment, pip, subscribe. Share the video with people that might enjoy. And like always, guys, I'll see you next time. And until then, take care.